People flocked to the coast, packing beach parking lots, welcoming an early burst of summer weather. So amazing. I love it. But experts are warning the heat dome currently sitting over six Canadian provinces is cause for concern, especially because it's so early people have not acclimatized. These types of events uh, can have very severe impacts on, on health, uh, uh, illness uh, and, and death. For people experiencing homelessness, a much needed water delivery. I feel sick. I feel like I'm having a heat stroke. In some areas, it already feels like it's more than 40 degrees with the Humidex. And that hot, humid weather is expected to stay in most of Ontario, Quebec and Atlantic Canada until Friday without even a break at night. All that moisture uh, during the day makes it hard for the temperature to drop off at night and we and to see any, any real reprieve. Toronto is dealing with transit delays because heat can cause tracks to soften and expand, requiring slower speeds. <laughs> Montreal is approaching its all-time record for June, 35 degrees back in 1964. I'm not putting a lot of clothes on <laughs> so he can sleep. Like during the heat wave, I'm not going to be out for long, like maybe an hour or two max. Even those enjoying it know they need to be careful. Water, water, water. Environment Canada says such a heat wave has rarely been seen this early in June. I worry for my grandchildren. What is their world going to be like? In Halifax, these landscapers are calling it a day. It's too hot to continue with the, uh, the Humidex. It's 52 right here. In Fredericton, this cafe owner is also closing early. The temperature is excruciating. It is really, really uh, hot in our kitchen. So we're going to have a nice staff beach day. Finding any way possible to beat the heat to keep everyone safe. Kayla, hard to miss you saying that these temperatures are hanging around. That's right, Adrian. For most of Atlantic Canada, Ontario and Quebec, this is going to stick around until Friday. For parts of southwestern Ontario, the heat will linger into late Sunday. Then when it's all over, Environment and Climate Change Canada will begin analyzing what took place here to try to determine by how much this event may have been influenced by human-induced climate change. All right, Kayla Hounsel in Halifax. Thanks, Kayla.